Alright. Alright, they have Gecko Mall. Oh, that's it. Alright. Smoke him when you said. Oh. Ooh, an smoke. enemy scene counter. They're running across spawn already. They no idea I'm here. You guys were trash talking the other submitters who had trouble getting an empty site. And you're out here like, it's so easy, but there's nobody defending A. You burned all your abilities A, you went A and planted. What are you guys trash talking for? You just ran into site planted for free. You're just facing terrible players. I know it's a dry run POV in the top right. I'm looking at the mini map here where Yoru saw nobody. I'm not looking at this. I know you don't have a replay system. I know that's not real. Yoru, he didn't see anybody. Back from Molly? Yep, yep. Oh, fuck. I put our gun on accident. Ah, oh, God. They might spam it. They might, they might get it. Shock dart? Shock. Fragment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. This is actually really good. Hunter Shiri? I am the hunter! Portal <laughs> <laughs> oh, strike? Open up the sky! <laughs> Shocker, snake bite? Deep fried! Holy wait, who's calling the util right now? This is boaster energy. This is literally how boaster IGLs. He micromanages it's like right. everything. Oh, on it. Wait. Do you see your crosshair here, Viper? If they were peeking you drop, they'd be peeking from the far wall. So their head would be up here most of the time. Okay? So your crosshair's gotta be up here. Hold on. Oh, oh, it's close. Oh, yeah, we did it! Yes! 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 That's really good. That's really good. The only problem with this is the fact that you're sort of relying on getting the bomb down like that. Hmm. You're Yovri ulting into a brim smoke. I don't know. That's actually. So the fact they didn't see anybody is crazy. But I think if you Yoru ult into a Brim Smoke and stick the plant immediately, I think that's pretty good odds. Yeah, Cam Pecky's saying this. I actually, because it's top sight, I, I don't think they're going to stop you. I think it's crazy you didn't see anybody sight, but I think this actually works. I think this works. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Defenders win. We've all been there, but thanks to the generous members of the Knowers Club, not only can I help you get less of these, Defenders win. but you can even earn Valorant gift cards for successful improvement, all live on stream. Order now at discord.gg slash wuhujin, or I'm taking the world two pipe. Don't try me, I'll do it. Once a week, I set a challenge for all of my lovely tier three subscribers to go try and complete. And this week's challenge is a doozy chat. I asked them, no, I demanded of them that they create some type of post plant where they get the bomb down. I asked them strictly to minimize their interaction with the enemy team once the bomb had been planted and maximize the goofiness of their positioning. So for example, if they had a Sova over here with double shock, a KO over here with a running nade, a killjoy here. You get the idea. And then they can somehow stall for the full 40 seconds. Now there's a lot on the line, chat. The winning team, each player gets $50 Valorant gift card. They get another gift card a week later for one fifth of the ad revenue of the video each. So essentially all of the ad revenue. I checked on the, the crazy sight hits video. This would equate to an additional $70 each. So estimated payout between 50 and $120 gift card per player. You get one robo emoji each. And this is the best part. The winning team, their region is the best region on our server for the next week. Region supremacy. That doesn't only mean that we all have to agree they're the best. We do. We also will be giving that region plus 50 tickets in every single Wuhujin raffle for the week. Everyone from that region. So if you're an EU viewer and EU wins today, then you have improved raffle odds all week. Thanks to your champions. Onto the submissions.
we've got submissions we have one two three four five six seven submissions okay you know no nah, pen flash is drawing my attention <laughs> the, the, the sun zoo i saw pen flash's team playing for over 12 hours yesterday trying to get their clip they represent north america hello hooge we have returned from the depths of the valorant abyss to bring you this submission what started as a fun journey with the homies turned into an odyssey of self-discovery a myriad of sanity breaking obstacles in Wild West shenanigans. After NA's embarrassing failure in last week's Fun Day Friday, I set out to make the GOAT squad of Valorant Fun Day Friday. Before the stream even ended, I had assembled the squad. Chief the Thief, the mastermind behind my previous Fun Day Friday win. The dictionary definition of a lineup Larry. Alum, an Immortal 3 god who's the best vibe in the server. Pew Pew, and just tired, Two SCOG champions who I knew would put in the work to grind out the submission until we reach our goal. I think you meant reached. Pen flash English teacher much? Um, I think you're missing a ED there, dog. Okay. And myself, the lovable moron who could wrangle them all together. Bro, you're breaking the immersion. I mean, you're the English teacher who has a grammatical error in his in his little like preamble, you know? Last Friday. We immediately got to work. We fallow planted out three maps and began finding funny lineups for Bind, Haven, and Ascent. However, we found gold on Ascent that couldn't be passed up. See image below for full execute fallow plan. Holy shit. Okay, so I think the bomb is planted on B, and then it appears we have a bouncing Phoenix Molly lineup. We have a, a Viper Ultimate lineup. Holy shit, really? A Brimstone HUD lineup for the Molly. You got an order for the Molly. You throw the Phoenix, then the Viper, then Killjoy takes the main control. Killjoy ult forces them out of B. Viper Phoenix takes sight. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You, that's how you take sight, and then it's lineup time. Lineup order is Phoenix Molly, two seconds to land, last four seconds. You're bragging about your Valo plant, and it's, it's incomplete. Your lineup order just starts with Phoenix Molly. He includes his Sun Tzu quote alongside his half-assed Valo plant. And you wanted to show off these lamp lineups before we watch the clip. Let's take a look. There's one that gets the best bounce. Careful now. And there's one that hits it that doesn't get... Yeah, that was... Oh, you're shitting me. You're bouncing it all... Wait, you guys are using this tech bounce. already? Careful now. And there's one that hits it that doesn't... Oh, that's get... the good stuff. That's the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was the good one. <laughs> <laughs> there's one that... Lamp lineup two. Wait. Is your brimstone molly also bouncing off the lamp? What did that dart do? No! Nah! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you can now understand why we were so obsessed with this particular post plant. I can, I can. That is goofy. Besides these glorious lamp lineups, we were able to construct a post plant where all 45 seconds of the bomb plant timer were covered by post plant utility. Without even requiring Viper Mollies, we still had several seconds to spare as the bomb exploded. We played 12 unrated. Oh, is this game an unrated game? It is. Okay. Minus one point. <laughs> okay, let's see the round. Here, am I gonna, am I gonna help you, if you get a orb or... Everyone sit back. Just at least hold for aggression because they've been running it down, eh? Okay? Don't, don't drown immediately. Launching smoke. Yeah, that's fine. There's an So this is tough. Do you need the whole team alive yeah, on the I'm site take for this? So like we're ready to go. Wait, are we actually executing now? Yeah, yeah. I would say so. Okay. How many smokes do you have? Two. Yes. Dang. That's all. And you need to I burn think... the killjoy ult early. Wow, that's tough. Because it, after the Killjoy ult, it's go time. If you screw it up, you're like going next to Sank game, huh? I'm gonna go get right. Is your orb down? Launching smoke. Oh, yeah. That's fine. You, you don't need it. You don't need it. You can wing it. Now, I do have to smoke. take off points. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go get right. Is your orb down? Bat ult is spammable. And I don't believe we have info that they're not Odining. Lane. Launching smoke. Oh, yeah. That's a hole. You don't That's a hole. You can wing it. Flashing. Flashing. 
Okay, so Phoenix hides behind the Viper wall. I'm getting bombed down. Yes. Swerving. <laughs> I'm ulting. Oh, no Is there anything special about this Viper ult lineup? Line up out. Nice, nice. You let them shoot you. That's that's good shit. It doesn't matter if they check logs, Mal, because they're not going to shoot them anyways. That's the best part. Our Phoenix didn't plan on firing his weapon anyways. This entire post plant should require no gunfire. Okay, we Sova ult. Then we throw the Brim Molly. But we Brim ult first. One enemy remaining. Then the Molly lands. No charges left. Beautiful. It's beautiful. We did it. I can go to sleep. I can go to sleep. I can go to sleep. Fucking good. Look at the chat. I am being dorked. Fucking good. I, I love you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love. Oh my god. Wait, wait. So they literally can't touch the bomb. The only, only weakness to this is this first Killjoy Molly you throw is definitely a weakness. They could break that. That first Killjoy Molly, do you have an answer for that? Like, let's say they killed Phoenix and Viper. What happens if they shoot that first Killjoy Molly right there? Are you still good? Your Viper Molly's... No, but Viper's in danger. Viper could die. You can Molly in a pinch. Okay, so you throw the Brin Molly early. I will have to take off half a point because I think there is a tiny hole if the enemy team is perfect. If they somehow know this entire setup ahead of time and they counter strat you i think they can counter this by shooting the killjoy molly and killing viper and phoenix i think there is the world's tiniest hole i will admit very unlikely but a full pro team might actually win this round against you minus 0 0.5 okay double lamp bounce Plus two. Didn't fire a weapon once in the post plant. Plus two. Vibes. Plus two. Determination. Plus two. I think this is a perfect 10. Everything is plus two. You get a 10 minus your 1.5. You get an 8.5 out of 10. If this was ranked, it would have been a 9.5. And if there wasn't that one hole that a full team of professional players might be able to exploit, it'd be a perfect 10. Brim killed Neon. Oh my god, the mini map. Would Neon have seen Killjoy? I don't think so. But would Neon have seen Killjoy here? I don't think so. Neon was here, chat, looking to flank B main. Yeah, the Killjoy kill makes total sense. The kill A main is totally fine. That one, we don't even need to talk about that. That's super valid. However, I think Brimstone shooting the Neon here is unnecessary i believe that neon would not have seen killjoy one unnecessary shot take it off half a point it's an eight out of ten all right next submission we, we do we have we should do an eu next eu perfect man EU, you guys are up against the wall there's a lot of na submissions zipper good morning afternoon evening and night wuhujin and chat covering all your bases i like that the plan to get a free plant was to force push the opposite site B every round we didn't go A. We never had anyone lurking or going A ever until the submitted round seven. I'll forgive the, I'm going to assume English is not your first language and this is fine. The sequence of utility starts on spike tap with the Astropole, okay? With mollies and Astropole only, we have 31 seconds of stall. With the mollies and only the Astropole, we have 31 seconds of stall without counting the extra seconds the Sage Slow and Wall buys us. Assuming the enemy can half during Gecko Molly, the enemy has 11 seconds to break wall and have the spike before or after the Molly sequence. Okay. Ranked. Ooh, you guys did it in ranked, huh? You lost the game. Okay. Tutorial videos for the tier threes who want to goof around with this and unrated swift play. Okay. Mm, I'm not, you're not going to get many goofy points for this one because you're all in very normal spots for these lineups. 
Like you're all just outside showers. But let's take a look. Using my music? Because it showed all the tech you tried to learn. I like it. This is around. Yeah, this is around. This is around. Okay. I can. I can. I like it. I can old B. I can old. Can you start a fight pro as well? Yeah, yeah. Showing the blood, sweat, and tears that went into this one hit. Respect. We're not making noise towards A, right? We're just like. Don't make noise. Yeah. First one to line up. Okay, so you've been hitting B every round. You're conditioning them to B hit. You burn Astro Util B. Which is high, which is high now. The wall's angled so it doesn't not, touch A. They're not here. And now you're they just going for the wall plant. I like that. I like okay, so that. It I minimizes have, your I risk. Oh, no, I have wall in that plant now. It just. Go ahead, wall it, wall it. Wall it, yeah. Have wall it, wall it, wall it. Now, do you clear. You've got Gecko POV in here, right? Wait, wait, wait. I wanted to see if you cleared bench correctly. Wall it, wall it. Wall it, yeah. Have them. Wall it, wall it, wall it. Right here as you're coming out. I don't think you cleared on top of this box here. They could have boosted up there or jet would be there. Nice. Good, jet. good kill. Good kill. Push Am I just shooting it now? Ooh. I'm actually shooting it now. No, uh, Mine is 0 0.5. Comms like that have no place in this community. What do you mean you're actually shooting it now? Off to Astro. I big wall anyways. <laughs> Push I, off to Astro. I'm going to throw my I'm melee. worried about TP. I'm not going to lie. I might just jam through TP. It's okay. Okay, they're breaking wall. Okay. Early. I'm pulling that. Oh, did that? I think that Molly landed earlier than it needed to, right? Right here. I'm pulling that. They can't be on the bomb right now. Go ahead. Start, 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 start. Yep, throwing one slow. They're not on it. They're not on it. Throwing second slow. Yeah, it's they a win. <laughs> one forty units, bro. Nice, good shit. <laughs> they all die. <laughs> Oh my god. E it's Gecko Molly. It's got a stall before it activates. Ah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're missing 40 I seconds here. Am I... Push Am I... I guess they're not on the bomb. I think it's funnier if you just burn the full 40 seconds of Util though. So they could never ever be on the bomb anyways, you feel? Took so long to break wall. Yeah, but they could have walled over the wall or updrafted. I just like the idea of burning a full 40 seconds of util on the bomb anyways, because then they just can't defuse ever, you know? So I, this one definitely can't win. Let's score it though. Let's say the positioning goofiness. I'm gonna give you a zero for that. This isn't very goofy. This is all pretty normal. Effort is definitely a plus two. You have to shoot a bullet. How many unnecessary shots? We had to shoot them from the teleporter after the bomb was down, right? That's nice. Good that's shit. Yeah, we need to control this space with a gun. So that's one unnecessary shot. Gonna... Two unnecessary shots. I'll give you plus one for that. Yeah, wait, you said the gecko molly takes time to pop, so it needs to land after the pull. But if you look at this, the gecko molly hasn't been thrown yet. I'm pulling them. See, this thing already just landed. What is this? Because his comm right now is, I'm pulling. And then in the gecko clip, you see the comms are different. Tell me when to star, which means that's not the gecko molly. Whatever it is, it didn't need to land that early. Util typing on Astro pull a bit early. Nice one. I think I'm going to give you a total of a seven. Mm, actually, 6.5. Now I'm thinking about it. 6.5 for TVU. I think it could have been a lot better. Next submission. Team Frog. Oh my god. Team Frog. What is this? 
Wait, you're throwing a Sova Shock from A Heaven? And then he's rotating CT for the ult? I think I gotta take off points though. Is this Brimstone throwing a Molly straight up? That's kind of lame. Everything else looks sick. Yeah, Orb lineup. You got KO Nade from mid Sova Shocks. Okay. I would like to preface this with a disclaimer. This attempt was not successful and we make no claims that it was. The 0% defusible, zero interaction defuse did not occur as we had prepped and aspired for it. The plan was simple. However, we struggled to get on site with only one or two people assisting in the hit. Makes sense. Still, given that we spent hours prepping for maps worth of lineups and timings, we submitted an imperfect round. I like that. I like that. Chat, you should learn from Team Frog. You don't want to be that student who doesn't submit their homework because you know you're going to get an 80 on it. 80 is better than a zero chat respect we did not compromise in our goals until it became clear that the perfect round was outside our grasp with that said we'd like to post our closest round to showcase the amount of work the team did to make this happen we also won the game against racist opponents <laughs> <laughs> the Excel sheet attached shows the timings for every piece of util required to get 100% coverage on the bomb, leaving only two windows of less than 150 milliseconds for the opponents to defuse. I also have a Google sheet that I can DM you if you don't want to download a random Excel sheet. I won't post that here because it's my personal account. Yeah, sure. Let's just look at it. I'm down. And can I even open a Excel sheet? I don't have Excel. <laughs> also attached is a fallow plant, all the lineups used and where they land. Should you wish to utilize this in any of your future ranked games? Yes, yes, of course. For which viewpoint to watch? Frankly, all of them suck. None of us saw even anything after the bomb went down. That said, I enjoy Sergio's viewpoint the most. Okay. I'm low. Oh, there it is. The three window. We lost Frank. They're here. 147 yard. Rotate towards C. We can still get it off now, KJ. Coming out C. Down. Uh, we don't have everything to do it, do we? We have enough. If if Sova gets on A, we're chilling. Ooh, did we just burn a shock to fight right, that Viper? Don't kill him. Get it down. Oh, fuck. He's mid. We can still do it. We can still do it. All right. I started my timer. If someone can pick me up. <laughs> I'm going to need you to read off 11 seconds to me. All right. Yeah, I got the read for you for 11 seconds. I like, I like that we brim mollied it right away, even though the one guy can't be there. 11 seconds now. Truly going scuffed. for the 40 second undefusable. It's a little bit scuffed, <laughs> but you definitely can't be funny. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm almost at my spot. It's so long. This is a really tough challenge, chat. You're out here like, oh, only one left alive. It's tough to get a full plant down while you all stay alive and the majority of the enemies are alive too it's really hard i think killjoy ultimate was the play for this like team pen flash that was smart using killjoy ult 35 coming in. 40 right here Yeah, the bomb's blowing up before the Sova ult's ready. That's tough. <laughs> I'm going to have to give, let's see, Team Frog NA. The actual idea is like a 9 out of 10. Maybe even better. It's honestly, it looks really good on paper. Now, of course, the execution, though. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. We end up in a... 3v1 4v1 with no uh no second shock it's uh, 3v1 yeah, oh here we go here we go ah there's their timings <laughs> this is some nerd shit this is some nerd shit from team frog <laughs> man it would be so good if we hit that the actual execution, of course, though, I'm going to have to give like a 3 out of 10. I think it's safe to give that a combined score of a 6 out of 10. All right, let's look at... Oh my god, wait, Team Silver One is doing a similar strategy. Team Silver One, also all positioned on Haven using a similar Sova shock, but also a Viper Molly from A. Here they do have the Killjoy. Okay, wait, I'm going to teach you guys something for your future submissions. So what you can do for a strat, let's just say this is our team. It doesn't really matter. Okay. You could draw like an arrow here. Then you can, in this sequence area, you can click this too. 
and you can move people around like this. You can add some util. And you can see now I can switch between sequence one and sequence two, and it does this cool little animation. So if you want to show your whole hit, you can like do all these sequences in a row. Then you can go sequence three like this. So you'd be a one, two, three. Do you see? So for your future submissions, you can use this feature to make like this type of thing really cool. Do you share it like this without Pro? Uh, no, but you could record it, if that makes sense. So you stack util A to take a control, but it's a fake. Brim is sneaking C. I like that. Viper throws orb. Okay, so the Viper orb is assisting in the plant. And then we're caterpillaring out to get the plant. And then he shoots a molly straight up. Okay. Killjoy's lining up nanos in spawn. I like that. That's going to be minimal. Oh, this is really smart. Notice at this point, chat, like once the bomb gets planted, Brimstone's accepting his fate. He's dead. You're never finding these other guys, right? Like if you're, if the bomb gets planted C and you're playing V or A, you're rotating this way. The only time they're finding these other guys, if they flank out A, which would probably happen before the bomb goes down, you'd make that contact. Okay, okay. Lineup squad moves onto A as enemies leave to try and defuse bomb. Yup. Viper and Sova throw both lineups to continue protecting the bomb. Yup. KO continues towards his spot. KO throws fragment to cover the bomb for the remaining time. Bomb explodes. GG. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's take a look. Which POV would you recommend? Oh, here's our edited combined POV. Okay. All right, here we go. I think we might just need to buy all you two. Switching sides. Pull you two. All right. You doing a pistol? Get ready. Wait, wait, is this ranked? It's ranked? Why did you include the match link? Okay, okay. Revealing area. No one's sewer. Long clear. Yep. Points. Wall up, wall up. Okay, they've got the kills are turret for sewer. Uh, Sage wall is on A. Sage is on top of the wall. Okay, use the stim to plant faster. And then he just molly straight up. If they stick the bomb right there, do they get it? Match link? Okay, thank you. If they stick the bomb literally right now and Brim dies, do they get it? Oh, we got, we got collapsed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do get a full diffuse if you don't have additional utility. Is it Killjoy molly? Oh, let's see. Is Sage there? Uh, Sage was on top of. I need to check Killjoy POV. One sec, this is really important. Molly, Two, let them rotate off. Three, four, Molly, five. No, they could have totally diffused. If they just stick the bomb because we're so quick to leave it. The Brim Molly's landing right now. Yeah, yeah, but look, look. Okay, so the bomb gets planted at 101. Molly, let them here. rotate off. They're already here. I'm Molly, though. The diffuse would be done now. The Molly hasn't even hit the ground. So any time after this is just additional there. leeway for the diffuse. It, it, I believe it takes 11 seconds for a straight up Brim Molly. Brim is standing in the smoke, though. Yeah, but he's not shooting. If two people... I'm pretty sure there's a window. Pretty sure there's a window. Like, what do you do if Brim dies and they get on the bomb? Is what I'm saying. Yeah, Street says it takes 11.1 seconds for the Brim Molly to land. So that's four seconds for them to kill Brim and get on the bomb. We don't care if they realistically would do it. The point is that they can do it because I took off points for Team Pen Flash's window. And Team Pen Flash's window is way tougher, I would say. This window is actually not that hard. I say this is minus one because I could see like a, a mortal team getting this window on you. Well, I think it would take like a pro team to get the window on Team Pen Flash. Molly, they're already here. Let them rotate off. They're already here. Like, you see, they're already here. If they just stuck right now, Brim would have to shoot his weapon. Is Sage there? Uh, Sage was on top of her wall. Don't right. Right. We're good, we're good. Get in position. There. Yep. Popped. Going second one. Wait, you're relying on Killjoy mollies? What happens if they shoot those Killjoy mollies? Do you just lose? Killjoy mollies can be shot, and you just straight up lose if they did that. That's minus one. First Viper Molly. Going second Viper Molly or both. Okay, I'm Molly out. Nice. Now just hide, just hide. Round is secured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah,
<laughs> That's a lot of run throws, though. You gave Pen Flash minus 0.5. Yeah, because his Molly's getting broken. We're a super tight window. Pen Flash's Molly's getting broken relied on the enemy team killing a Viper hiding in her ult right here ahead of time. And then it was like a four second window after killing that Viper that they'd have to get to the bomb and be ready for the Molly's. As opposed to in this VOD where they had like 10 seconds. Like, it's two Killjoy Mollies in a row that you just relied on. The second Killjoy Molly is so predictable. Okay? It's weaker, I promise. I like that you don't have to use ultimates. Yeah, the enemy team's really bad about that. Oh, perfect. We can see the dry run. Do we get bomb POV? Wait a second for him to plant. Wait a second before you do it, either, even after I plant. Oh, we don't get bomb POV. Yeah. Okay. We should be able to push up at that at this point. Okay, here we go. Yep. So we're gonna see right here what I'm talking about. Right here they can just break that. And that. And now they're on. And no util comes in in time. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> the TLDR is I think the Brim Molly should have been shot before you plant. So it would land after, like, I don't know, whatever. You do the math and make sure it lands within five seconds of the bomb going down so they can only realistically half it. Because even if they can half it, you win the rest of the round out. And then I would want the Killjoy Mollies to land specifically in the Viper Smoke. And I wouldn't want them to be first after the Brim Molly. I want it to be like Viper Molly into the Orb first. And then Killjoy Mollies into this Smoke next. Because they wouldn't be ready to break it in that case. Does that make sense? I think that cadence would have been much tougher to deal with. However, yeah, no ultimates. Plus one. That's impressive. Run throw points. Mm. Are the run throws tight? I think it's just position and goofiness points. Because to position like this, you need really, you need run throws. So that's plus two. And I don't believe we needed any unnecessary shots. Is plus two. No unnecessary shots whatsoever. That was clean. I think because yours is objectively worse than Team Pen Flashes in terms of defusability, I can't give you first place. But you're heck of a right behind them. I can't give you first place. It's ranked and Pen Flashes isn't. Yeah, but like, do I really count it as ranked if you're losing 13 4? <laughs> so I, I can't give I can't give them the win over Team Pen Flash here. Next submission. This is all subjective and up to me, and therefore I choose that that one can't beat Team Pen Flash. If it was of equal or even slightly less quality to Team Pen Flash and ranked, I give it to you. But this is a lot less quality in my opinion. Okay, Team Cash Money also representing NA. While we came together as a team to research lineups and commit to specific times as a team, unfortunately, our ultimate plan was thwarted by Killjoys who were so staunch in their commitment to defending sites, they would not leave and give us an uncontested and uninterrupted post plan. <sighs> yeah, work on that. Pen flash. <laughs> what do we call these? These are run-on sentences. I couldn't read that in one breath. We did, however, persevere through such hardships and continued to run a post plant that spooked the enemy and was as uninteractive as possible. Preparations and timings were made for Bind, Haven, Ascent, and Pearl, with Bind being our most exciting and most uninteractive post plant. We submitted our best Pearl post plant POV in hopes of claiming the ultimate prize. Our hopes were to create a caterpillar made of smokes to sneak onto the site unseen so we could toss our lineups from beyond vision, but our dream was unfulfilled. Screenshots of our prep. <laughs> I like you gave the caterpillar eyes. Wait, this is Pearl. This is Haven. This is Ascent. This is Ascent, and that's just a screenshot from Valo Plant. I don't believe that you learned all of these Brim Mollies. Like you just learned one. Wait, so you submitted a Pearl screenshot, a Haven screenshot, an Ascent screenshot, an Ascent screenshot, and then this. I can't tell what map. And then Bind with three Vipers. <laughs> Presentation minus one. Okay. Spike planted. You should run. <laughs> Shit. 
Oh, this is... Okay, this is a dry run. You're demonstrating what it would look like. Does it rely on the Killjoy ultimate? Like, what happens if they Brim ult your Killjoy ult? Ooh, they could shoot that. Oh man, you guys relying on Killjoy Mollies too? I didn't bonk it. You guys are all gonna learn this the hard way. But there's a reason Kampeki pointed this out as well, that you should pre-throw the Mollies on the bomb and pop them early. Because that's literally what they do in pro games to ensure that you can't break the Killjoy Mollies. This is a real problem that high level players experience is that if you throw the Killjoy Molly, it's going to get broken by really good players. You need to place it ahead of time somewhere really tricky and pop it like with something spotting for it so you know that they can't break it yet. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, you still have Viper Mollies. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, they definitely have no time if everything goes off. This is why I probably wouldn't have drafted Killjoy. I believe if you look at last week when i was describing this i was debating putting killjoy in my personal comp for this because of this reason her mollies are so so hit or miss i think that's a good idea actually oh it's well, pearl yeah, well, let's just rush a and then try to get set up it's uh, pearl launching smoke revealing area our caterpillar is two smokes and it leaves a gap and they're shooting us through the gap. <laughs> KJ was like close right or something. I'm not sure. I'm sticking this. Stick it. Got it. I don't have shocks. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Cursing isn't cool if you do it literally every sentence minus one just uh call the tap you, you should, should run smoke's down okay call the, call tap. the tap i'll throw my mollies yep all right this is why i had to log in to watch your video Open up the sky. all right let me know when your brim molly pops oh this is good shit oh, though. The out. <laughs> Chambers pushing up. Dog said, did you have to shoot that guy? On it. on it, by the way, Viper. One enemy remaining. Nice. Oh, wait. Okay. Never mind. Just us. Nice. Let's go. Got it. Let's go. Yeah, the comms were a bit bit panicked. However, coordination of util, easily plus two. You timed it all really well after the bomb got down <laughs> before bomb honestly minus one <laughs> but then comms where where's the trust look on it on it what do you mean on it by the way viper what do you mean on it how are they on it you've you've prepped for this on it fun day friday is not just about not just about goofy submissions fun day fridays about developing good coordination good habits you don't trust your own teammates with a strategy that you dry ran you've got a successful round they try to defuse so you you beat out team frog however your actual take of the site is really bad is <laughs> really bad and there i have to give team zipper like a better take than you you're you're in the six range i'm very picky today i put you a 6.2 out of 10 uh, giving Team Zipper the edge on you because their take didn't rely on them not dying to a Killjoy who literally had a free shot on them. Like, you just lost the round right there, but their Killjoy sucked, right? And then you guys kind of sucked back. <laughs> so I can't let you uh, beat out Team Zipper because of that. Your hit was, uh, it had a glaring hole and you just relied on the enemy killjoy whiffing shots 6.2 for team dogja operation stealth bomber i cannot accept your late fallow plant sequence submission for scoring purposes because i just showed off that feature so i will look at this after i score you this is 
<laughs> I timed him out because he was trash talking. <laughs> All right, we will untime out River. However, team stealth bomber NA, not classy. We're going to take off 0.5. You're out here trash talking the other teams for having a tough time. You guys are silver. Your opponents are easier, okay? Plan. Skip if you don't want spoilers. Yeah, sure. The confidential military briefings for this operation were declassified, allowing us access to documents showing just how this operation was set to go down, as well as personnel reports detailing both friendly and enemy troop movements. Operational details. All right, you know, you already have it all Valo planted. You just had to load it up and turn it into a sequence, or it was a you know, I'll give it to you. I'll look at the sequence. Oh, it's not really a sequence. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get this right. So you've got, you haven't taken sight yet. The bomb's already down? The bomb is somehow down and you're using all five members of your team. Okay, silver moment. And they're going to trash talk. Mad Lions used to do a full post plant from drop after a drop pop to plant bomb top site. Ooh, they like, they like crawl here, pop top, plant top site and reset. <laughs> all right, all right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. They said, honestly, just watch it. I'm excited. The best viewing experience. Please enjoy this military propaganda. Yeah. All right. All right ready? Stop Eco Vendor. Drop it. Thank you. Let me Two. buy you now. We can buy you. Four. I would like a PSA for viewers. This is a silver game. I want you to keep Mine's that in mind. Five. Actually, I can I get this on? Yeah. Sure. All right, cool. Everyone have it. Everyone have it. Everyone get right, ready. Yeah. That yeah, this is silver. Buy shields, um, Brimstone. Because yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that's like kind of, yeah. kind of funny. Is it Aqua Ascendant? Okay, gold, silver, platinum. You're right, silver and Ascendant. You're right, they only have two silvers. You got me. You got me. It's low elo. Very low elo. Probably our lowest elo submission. Other than maybe Team Frog. All right. All right. They have Gecko Mall. Oh, that's it. Right. I'll smoke when you said. Ooh, an enemy scene counter. They're running across spawn already. The, no, I am here. You guys were trash talking the other submitters who had trouble getting an empty site. And you're out here like, it's so easy. But there's nobody defending A. You burned all your abilities A. You went A and planted. What are you guys trash talking for? You just ran into Site Planet for free. You're just facing terrible players. I know it's a dry run POV in the top right. I'm looking at the mini map here where Yoru saw nobody. I'm not looking at this. I know you don't have a replay system. I know that's not real. Yoru, well, he didn't see anybody. Back from Molly? Yep, yep. Oh, fuck. Right. I put our gun on accident. Ah, oh, God. They might spam it. They might get it. Shocker. Shock. Fragment? <laughs> 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 oh, this is good. This is actually really good. Hunter Shiri? What a strike! Open up the sky! Shocker, snake bite! Deep fried! Holy. Wait, who's calling the util right now? This is Boaster energy. This is literally how Boaster IGLs. He micromanages it's like right. everything. Oh, Done. Wait, do you see your crosshair here, Viper? If they were peeking you drop, they'd be peeking from the far wall. So their head would be up here most of the time. Okay, so your crosshair's got to be up here. Oh, done. Oh, it's close. Oh, yes, 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 that is really good. The only problem with this is the fact that you're sort of relying on getting the bomb down like that. Hmm, you're Yovru ulting into a brim smoke. I don't know, that's actually... So the fact they didn't see anybody is crazy, but I think if you Yovru ult into a brim smoke and stick the plant immediately, I think that's pretty good odds. Yeah, Kampeki's saying this. I actually, because it's top sight, I, I don't think they're going to stop you. I think it's crazy you didn't see anybody sight, but I think this actually works. I think this works. 
Let me look at the timings again. Yeah, exactly, Kim Becky. I, I think you up. actually get uncontested play. I'm looking at the top right now. I'm just looking at the timings. He gets out and plants immediately. Viper Molly? Yep, yep. Oh, and then you immediately Viper, Viper Molly. They might spam it. Three, they, might, they might get it. Four. Shocker. Five. Shock. Fragment? Okay, your shock lands after the Molly expires, top side there, but I think they would be vulnerable still. But I I think this is the only hole, right? There. So if we look at the timer, it's 50 seconds. The bomb's been planted. And I think if we go to 57 here, I think they can get it. Yeah, they would have it right here. So if, if they stuck the bomb the moment you planted it, the, they would the viper molly the viper molly landed a one second ago my gp they're not dead but there's no world they're sticking the bomb right after you plant like that i agree kampeki viper could have thrown the molly a bit earlier though because we have all of the util timings figured out i think the viper orb has different timing compared to the actual vod that's on them fragment you're right though looking at the mini map look at the mini map right now chat okay the bomb just got planted ignore the top right corner just look at the mini map. They might spam it. They might get it. Shocker! Right now, there's nothing on the bomb. Nothing's covering the bomb. I think all we needed was a brim ult right after the bomb got planted. Shock. And this is Fragment? is a perfect submission. They did have a tiny window, but it, my hey. goodness, is that a small window? And then the rest of the Under round. Sherry? This is so good. The rest of the round, you're already all off site because of the Yoru TP. Team Pem Flash, you, this you got beat. I'm not gonna lie. This is ranked. There's less holes in the plan. The Th this is winning right now for Shocker, sure. Incinerary. So good. Yeah, oh, we did it! Yes! yes, yes, yes. 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 That's actually so good. That's such a good submission. Okay, let's go. I that could unironically win a round in a Hyula lobby. That could literally win a round. I mean, once. And you'd have to get lucky if they don't flank out like Arcade or B Bane. But honestly, it could work. And Camp Pecky agrees. You get a 9.5 out of 10. You ruined your perfect score by being assholes about it to the other teams. Not cool. Come back. Come back with some class next time. Team Stealth Bomber. Keep watching, Hooch. Oh, did, did we get reactions? Oh, let's go. That was so that was, fucking that clean. Good. That was good. Oh, oh, my stopwatch wasn't up, so I had to like manually oh. think about when the timings were. Oh, my. Your stopwatch? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. They were, they were all, right. all relatively good. We all nerds. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Did you win the match? Holy shit, they won the game, chat. It's so picture perfect. You guys would have had a 10 out of 10. You even beat the hecking Smurf Reyna on the enemy team. There's no way this guy's a legitimate gold three dropping 3717 on you with a 144 damage delta. <laughs> you have one more submission from Team Digi. Another NA rep. EU, you guys just accepting that you're the worst region or what? Because it's already official that NA is the best region for the next week on this server, given they're in first and there's no more EU submissions. You guys submitted one? Aren't you the bigger region? Oh, well, NA is just way better than EU. Tough. I guess EU players, just, when it comes to coordination, it's just too difficult for them. I, I get it. All right. Hello, Wuhujin. Running it down for cancer makes their return with their goofy post-plant strategy and a new roster. Team consists of Digi, Keckles, Mal, Nugs, and Pryor. The game went 14-12 in our favor. Our post-plant round occurred in round 23 after a hard-fought attack half. We were down 12-10 and needed anything to get us to OT. That's that's fascinating. So you won, okay. Against the inarguable Phoenix Smurf. We will not do further research. Nice, you beat a Smurf. Notable things about our run. We're playing in Diamond Ascendant Lobby. The Viper needed to go into spawn for their second lineup. We all have the Bind Schema player card equipped. We all have the big brain title equipped. We're all using the Ego Vandal. 
took us two nights to get bind. We queued in a fracture at least 10 times. <laughs> Here's the fallow plant. Okay, this is good. This is good. I like that three of the lineups are coming from B side because you're not likely to get flushed out over here. And then Viper runs into their spawn. <laughs> okay, let's look at the overhead view. Okay. You should run. Spike planted. Ooh, are you relying on gunfire? Did I see that right? Come here. That's a good molly. Do you see if they were in position to break this Killjoy molly chat? They would immediately get detained. And so the only way they'd like win this round is if the guy gets detained and their buddy comes in to defuse. But even then, it looks like you throw a nade or there's no window. Nading or ulting. <laughs> Nowhere to run. <laughs> Boy, this is good. If you can act. Viper Molly missed. Uh, you know how you're gonna re-record it? Prepare for hellfire. <laughs> you gotta throw that. Now. You screw it up in the dry run, and you say good enough, and you cue comp. Nah, Campeki will tell you. I doubt TSM screws up their dry run and goes bet. Time to go face off against the guard and use that strat. You know. Where's the where's the successful dry run clip? Might have been a timing where someone stuck the bomb before Fair second Molly missed. landed. Viper Molly missed. Ah, uh, yeah, right there. Molly. But they're pretending the Molly doesn't miss. Actually, there's no orb though. So right here, right as the third Sova ult lands, they can stick, as Kampeki saying. And there's no orb with this Viper Molly, with this one, Plastic Funky. So they could stick right now. Viper Molly missed. This Brim Molly should uh, just land earlier, yeah. Is it this one? Prepare for hell Because he didn't need this much time at the end. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see it in action. I can't. I'll go Deagle. Definitely Sorry. detrimental that you had to play to have all five ultimates up. I have a Vandal for you. Interesting. You're going to hit A head on. I think one's Cubby. Is that better for him? Don't have him rolling us. He sucks though. One backside. He's getting two. I have the spike. Do we just like chill for it? We just chill for a bit. We just chill. We just do nothing. I have the spike. They're joining. They're joining. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to see. Kept dying, trying to take sight. I'm not surprised. You're hitting it all together like this. I feel like you could have had the people who throw their lineups from B, maybe fake B. Just wait a little bit longer. We go at 50. Yeah. Just got it. Mm. Dry fight heaven. Backside one heaven. After that dry fight, it looks really good though. Like if we just didn't give that dry fight. Huge. Plants down. Plants down. Huge, 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 huge. They TP'd out of uh, into showers too. I'm Got smoking it. short. Okay, raise. Your turn. Dating. Yeah, they could have used Sage. They're using the raise ult, but like you had. So you're using raise ult to deny, but your brim molly and brim ult have tons of wasted effective time. Right. So we could have retimed that and so yeah, like pick Sage to get the bomb down more consistently. Because then you don't need showers control. You can just uh, wall plant. Ooh, you're fighting them short. Push short. So they're aggroed onto you right now, Raze. There's no world they know about the Killjoy. And even if they do, they're not just going to go for her if you're here being loud. So I think you can knife out and just be really annoying. Run towards this wall, stay covered. Just buy time. And then I don't think Killjoy has to, has to peek. Firing your weapon's kind of lame. 
I ult in. Nice. I they did lock the dead lock some spine. We have it, we have it. That brim ult timing's different than your dry run. A lot different than your dry run. Let's go! Let's go! We did it! Hmm. This one's definitely not winning. It's a good round, but your dry run is super far deviated from what you actually did. Dry run versus execution very wildly. Plus error in dry run. Like, what do you mean we fixed it in game? The dry run is supposed to be perfect. And then in game, there's supposed to be, you know, there's going to be some errors in game because the game is dynamic. But otherwise, this is really good. I would say because you hit A straight on, hit A straight on and gave dry fight heaven, I have to take a point or like half a point. Because you could have Viper ulted earlier with the Killjoy ult and just waited. And you're like super chilling. This is a this is a good one. You, you guys don't realize you're actually close to playing like a professional level post play in some of these. Like pro teams would literally do stuff like this. Just a little bit different, of course. But you're like getting really close, which is really funny <laughs> given your ranks. <laughs> Dang, this is a good week. This is a good week. I'm going to give you an 8.5 total. So that ultimately gives team... Stealth Bomber, the indisputable win. That shit was clean. That gets the winner tag. I don't think anybody can debate that. This one literally was nearly a professional level of play. Like the bombs knock, they're not going to stop you from planting. We only left the timing immediately for a ninja defuse off rip, but that's an easy fix. And then this play is actually kind of good. Plus your comp is arguably pretty meta for the map. Like, I don't know if we pointed this out, but Viper, Brim, Yoru, obviously a bit questionable, but like KO, Sova, this is not a bad cop. Like, you could pick this on Fracture. I really like this submission. This submission is good. Next week's challenge is a complete and utter shock. I'm not even sure if these things are on Valo Plant yet. Don't think they are. It's a team deathmatch challenge. Your challenge is the most one-sided TDM victory challenge. <laughs> you must min-max TDM to the extreme. I will be giving point multipliers for fair matchmaking. So if you throw to face bad opponents, I will almost certainly not be giving you the win. And we're specifically, you're, okay, this is very specific chat. I want you to prep this map. What's the map called? Piazza. You will be prepping Piazza. Do not post your submission um, publicly. Make it in a Google Doc to share on day of. We will be holding a Piazza TDM competition between teams that are able to attend the stream. So you guys are going to prep piazza tdm min max you're gonna record your craziest game in matchmaking where you like crushed but then we're also gonna have you try to head to head each other for anybody who can bring their team to the stream so like if there's four na teams that have sick prep we're gonna run a bracket to see who's actually better we unfortunately will not do cross region awesome so eu you guys are gonna need two teams or you're not gonna be able to play bonus points will be awarded to teams that can attend the competition and take dubs. Okay. Then once again, the prizing will be similar to last week. Any questions? You guys are all going to become Piazza TDM geniuses. Now, of course, if you can't participate in the live event, I would still like you to create a submission, but this one is going to be a live event. You participate in live event if you don't have a submission? No, because this is going to be just like pro. I'm going to review your submissions before the tournament. You guys are all going to get to see each other's strategies. And then we're running the tournament. Just like how TSM can watch the guards' VODs before they play against them. You're all going to know each other's strategies. But only the day of. So please do not post your submission in this channel. Or actually... No, no, no. Let me let me edit this. It does make sense to... um boo, 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 boo. Post your submission here. But with links as private Google Drive files shared with business at woohoogen.dev. So you can 
you have to make your submission ahead of time, but other people can't view it. Does that make sense? So share it with my email ahead of time so I can review them before um, Monday, Friday. So you do have to make your submission ahead of time. I think that's cleaner.